Hello, VNTV. Thank you for joining us again for the latest installment of the KDT Atomatro. I'm Dr. Kwa Trung, and tonight we have a return guest, Wendy Kim. She is a life coach extraordinaire, and your purpose in life is empowering women, especially of color, mm -hmm. to live fulfilling lives. And so today's show, we're titling Living a Powerful Life. So you're going to share your pearls of wisdom and tips on living that life. And uh, thank you for joining us again, Wendy. Please share with the audience a few, what do you like to share? Yeah, so I the, the title of my book is Beyond Blending In. Mm -hmm. And the reason is because I lived most of my life trying to assimilate, mm -hmm. trying to blend in, feeling like I couldn't make a difference, feeling like I had nothing to contribute. Mm -hmm. And just trying to people please, mm -hmm. trying to be what other people wanted me to be. Exactly. So whether it was my family Okay, I'll go along with what they want for me. I'll get a, mm -hmm. a go to a good college, mm -hmm. get good grades, get a good job. But I never really thought about uh, what I wanted mm -hmm. for myself, mm -hmm. and and I never really thought about well, how can I make a difference uh -huh. until I was in my mid thirties. Yeah, because you had mentioned in our previous episode together that you're you're ethnically you're half white, half Caucasian, and half Korean. Correct. Right, and yes. so you weren't able to blend in with Caucasian nor the Korean. So you were kind of in yeah, limbo land, right? Exactly. And that brought a lot of confusion. And uh, yeah, we went to great detail in our previous episode. Yeah. And so today's episode, we're going to go deep in detail on the gist of what gives you, you know, how you're able to help your clients. Yeah. And so if you could just um, first, we'll talk about what are the, some of the struggles that you see that people go through that you're able to help? Yeah. We could go into so that to start. I can, I, I always like to give examples, but. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, so one of my clients, I won't, for confidentiality, yeah, of course. I won't say no, her no, name. No names, but, please, no but names. But let's just call her Jennifer. Okay. Since that's a very Jennifer common. Aniston? <laughs> yes, let's call her Jennifer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, no, maybe but not. Anyway, maybe. She, but she is actually Filipino, so okay. I don't know if Aniston would work. <laughs> but anyways, okay. but Jennifer, so Jennifer uh, is a great example of a client she okay. worked corporate for many years mm -hmm. but was not fulfilled okay and she wanted to get into coaching mm -hmm. and she also wanted to be a life coach and she wanted to make a difference mm -hmm. but she really struggled with believing that she was good enough okay and believing that she could make a difference and believing that she could actually financially be stable enough mm -hmm. in helping people sure. so a lot of what we worked on was confidence, believing in herself, and also her uh, her mindset around scarcity. Mm -hmm. One of the things I find, especially with people who come from an immigrant background, mm -hmm. is there's very, and I've struggled with this a long time, is sure. scarcity mentality. Yeah. Feeling like, okay, I've got to work hard, I've got to slave away in order to survive, mm -hmm. and I can't really enjoy myself and do something that I'm passionate about mm -hmm. because I can't make money doing mm -hmm. that. that. And I remember sure. when I started going into this initially, mm -hmm. my mom, the first question she asked me was, can you make money doing that? <laughs> and, that <laughs> and so that's something that a lot of my, my clients struggle with. They sure. feel like they have to do something they don't like in mm -hmm. order to make money. Mm -hmm. And so a lot of what we're working on is, is reframing their mindset so that they, and, and really serving and making a difference. Mm -hmm. I find a lot of times, again, if you come from maybe an Asian background or if you come from an immigrant background, your, your focus is so much on yourself mm -hmm. and being accepted by society. Yeah. And the problem with that is if you're, and I struggled with this again my whole life, mm -hmm. if you're really focused completely on yourself, it's very difficult to make a difference with people. That's true. That's and true. This, this is something I've learned through Landmark mm -hmm. and, and different, just my own journey. When I can focus on other people, mm -hmm. when I can focus on, on service and support, that's when I can make a difference. And that's also where the confidence comes Definitely. from. Because if you're if you're just trying to be confident and, and you go to a meeting and and you're like, I need to be confident. Mm -hmm. I need to be confident, then you're not gonna be confident. No. Because Co confidence <laughs> comes from within. Exactly. Right? It comes from within. Like for me personally, I grew up in an area where 
it was predominantly Caucasian. Mm -hmm. And this was the yeah. early 80s, and yeah. so borders of Santee and Lakeside. So mm -hmm. we were, my cousins and I, we were always the underdog. Mm -hmm. We were being bullied, yeah. picked on, and so we, we, we were trying to survive. Yeah. You know, and especially when I was young, it, it, you're very impressionable at that age. Mm -hmm. And it, it affects you to this day. Right, so, but yeah. we all have stories that affect us, shape us, as we learn in Landmark. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> it runs our rackets. Rackets are basically problems, unwanted things that persist in our life. Yeah, even though we don't it's that pattern, want it, for that sure. That pattern, and for so, sure. you know, but yeah, I, I love what you do with your clients, and uh, if you could share another example. Well, on, yeah, and, and to add issues. to that, so with Nicole, what we worked on is really her belief in herself. So when. And this isn't always what I, I don't just focus on the money aspect sure, of things. Of However, when she started working with me, she was making a couple hundred dollars a month in her business. Okay. And uh, like when we finished out our six months, she had a $15,000 month. Nice. So nice. It, it's, That's although we weren't focusing on so much on the money, but through the self-belief, through the mindset shift, that's where she was able to value herself and her mm -hmm. own worth. And that's where her clients were able to, to see her value as well. How, so how that's was she an able to shift her confidence? Yeah. Obviously, so, you, you, you empowered her with tools. So yeah. having a coach is really exactly. helpful. Yes. Um, we, we've we all maybe heard an Oprah talk. I was just at an Oprah yeah, event. Yeah, you were. You were. Right? Hey, with was, your husband. Yes. And the, the, I saw the picture. He, he was surrounded by all the estrogen, as you exactly. mentioned, right? <laughs> It was literally like <laughs> one man to 50 w women. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw that picture. <laughs> and the bathroom lines yeah. were insane I for bet. the women, I but bet. for the men, they were fine. Sure. But yeah, so one of the things that, that we really focused on is her why. Like, why, why did she want to do this? Mm -hmm. And why did she want to be a coach? Mm -hmm. It was real, it wasn't for the money, mm -hmm. although she wanted to make enough money, sure. obviously, to, to be sustainable. It, it wasn't to prove herself mm -hmm. as successful in the world, which is something that a lot of us mm -hmm. grow up sure, with in the Asian culture. Yeah. Uh -huh. Her why was really that she had a passion to empower women. That's great. And, and that's familiar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You sure and you're so, not her? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I work with a lot of women yeah, who, sure. want, who have that, that shared goal and sure. that shared vision and shared mission. Yeah. So when, but then but then those like voices of like oh i don't know if i can make a difference i don't know if i'm good enough i don't know if i can make money doing this when that would come up she would actually focus on taking action that was aligned with her vision mm -hmm. so she might call a client sure. and say hey i was just thinking of you and i thought of this article or I thought of this resource that could support you mm -hmm. or I just wanted to call you and ask how you're doing so when I get into that like very inward self-focused mode I actually a lot of times will call people mm -hmm. so and and add value and, and support sure. and give to them yeah. so that that's just like one tool yeah, that she definitely. used but also having support a lot of times uh, we get in our head. Like oh, I'm sure you've heard of that oh, term, definitely. like getting definitely. in your head versus yeah. being in your heart. Mm -hmm. And when in, you're in your head, everything seems impossible, like right? impossible, impossible, like able to do it, a, like a so disaster, yeah. like everything is thrown out of proportion. Mm -hmm. However, when you actually talk about it with someone, then you realize, wait, this is not such a big deal. Mm -hmm. Like in my head, it was a really big deal, sure. but when I talk to someone and I actually hear the words coming out of my mouth, <laughs> it's like, well, maybe I was blowing that out of proportion. Mm -hmm. Maybe I can. Yeah. And so having that ongoing support Definitely. from a coach yeah. was also really helpful because mm -hmm. let's face it, a lot of us don't have that in our Th lives. That's very true. A lot very of true. us, when we say we have a dream, mm -hmm. when we share it with someone, and, and these are well-intentioned people, they might go, how are you going to do that? Mm -hmm. Kwa, how are you going to do that? That's really <laughs> difficult. I know. Have you, yeah. have you really thought yeah. about that? And it's then, true. and then we sit there and we go, okay, I don't think I can do this. <laughs> I'll show you what I do. Actually, okay. this is a reference to, remember Saturday Night Live? There was a skit, uh, this is back maybe 10 years ago, if not more, for actually in high school, uh, Mr. Smiley. Where oh, he I don't would, know that one. Where he would sit in the, actually, I think it might be butchering his name, but basically the gentleman, he'd go into the mirror and say, 
gosh darn it, I'm good enough. Yeah, right? yeah okay, <laughs> is, is I do Mr. Remember. Smiley or am I picturing I, his I'm name? I'm not sure, but yeah, I, re- I do anyways, remember yeah, that. It was an yeah. old skit. Yeah. Uh, basically, there's this guy who wants to be more self-assured, yeah. more confident. So he'd look in the mirror, adjust himself, and say, gosh darn it, I'm good enough. Right? Yeah. Just It's that self-belief. Yeah. Right? They made it into a skit, but that holds truth to all of us. Right? we got to believe in ourselves. If we don't really believe in ourselves, no one will, bottom line. Yeah, and, right. I, and I think also, like, whether it's through coaching or mm-hmm. different programs, we've talked about Landmark, being able to understand your past mm-hmm. and understand why it maybe you struggle with certain things exactly. is also very helpful uh, because you can then work through that so mm-hmm. that the past is no longer. So maybe, like, when you were a kid, mm-hmm. you, you got bullied, yeah, or, bullied or went through and challenges. Yeah, I felt like I was worthy. Uh, yeah. yeah, and, and there I were felt, people. I felt like that was the underdog. Yeah, you know? yeah. and, and mm-hmm. that's an identity that maybe you carried into your adulthood. Definitely. However, that's, you're not that same kid anymore. No, you're actually, yeah. I'm actually an adult. An adult. I think. I think. <laughs> maybe, maybe. <laughs> Most of the time, right? We, we, we'll have to ask your I'm wife. I'm still a kid at heart. Yeah, I'm still a kid at heart. But yeah, because yeah, in reality, the most important attribute you can carry with yourself at all times, as you mentioned, is confidence. Yeah. Right? Confidence gets you that interview, gets you that job, gets you that opportunity that might not, might not be open for you. Um, okay. Yeah. I, I, was, I was speaking to a, a good friend of mine. Um, and we had dinner and he was talking about he wants to start a program uh, help people with interviews mm-hmm. right especially the interview process because when you have two qualified applicants mm-hmm. and then you go through the interview they're going to most likely pick you know assuming they're both qualified it's the one who's more confident yeah more and sure i of think himself. there's a misunderstanding of what confidence is mm-hmm. like people think confidence is you got to be loud you, you got to be like this but really no, it's, it's about being authentic authentic and yeah and being comfortable in your, your own, own skin. skin perfect yeah perfect. and so one of the things that perfect. i grew up with and a lot of my clients struggle with mm-hmm. is feeling like you have to be perfect mm-hmm. or that you have to come across as very successful mm-hmm. and professional and perfect but actually we we usually don't like to be around those kinds of people yeah, yeah. because we we can sense energetically like mm-hmm. there's they're trying to cover up for, for sure. something there and there's something kind of strange yeah. going on. For there. me personally, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a fine line at times between confidence and arrogance, right? You wanna be able to be confident, but be humble about it too. Mm-hmm. So it's always, it's always a work in progress for me as well, just getting that confidence, but also being humble, humility, you know, about it. Yeah, and, and then that's, also that's really uh, being, vulnerable. Know, being vulnerable. So I yeah. think actually confidence comes from vulnerability. Yeah, And that's, that's not something that we, especially in the Asian culture or with a lot of minorities, mm-hmm. we, we didn't learn vulnerability Gee, yeah. in our childhood. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because they're teaching us you got to be strong no exactly. matter what. Exactly, and, you know, and don't show grades. your weakness. Yeah, don't show yeah. your weakness, be strong. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, there is no weakness. You know, pain yeah. is weakness leaving yeah. your body. So we're all <laughs> <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> exactly. Actually, yeah, I think that's a Karate Kid, right? <laughs> karate Kid reference. But, great, uh, great right. movie. <laughs> it is yeah. a great a classic. Uh, you guys got to watch Karate Kid, yeah. Yeah. But, um, so I want to uh, start wrapping up the show. Okay. I want you to share one pearl of wisdom that you want to impart on the audience. What would it be? It would be, don't be afraid of asking for support. Oh, wow, beautiful. And beautiful. because really, people sometimes they'll look at me and they'll go, oh, you, you wrote a book mm-hmm. and you, you speak at these companies mm-hmm. and you're successful. Mm-hmm. And the only reason I, I've gotten to where I am today is because I've invested in, in myself in coaching Definitely. and different programs, mm-hmm. but I also have a ton of friends and, and family, including yourself, yeah. who support Reach me. Out, yeah. And when I'm struggling with something or mm-hmm. when I don't believe in myself, I will reach out and I will just say, can you talk to me? Can you, mm-hmm. can you help me? Because I, I don't feel yeah. very strong today. Yeah. And so, Honestly, if, if you're, don't, don't go it alone. You don't have to. You don't have to be this lone ranger yeah. that looks like you've got it all figured out. It's actually a lot more fun yeah. and enriching if you can have a support system and, and ask for help. Definitely. Because yeah. in the grand scheme of things, you know, we, we, we were born alone on this earth. We yeah. leave alone. But along the way, life's journey, we need help. Right? Yeah. We all need help. We all go through tough times. Right. I know. God knows. We all go through Definitely. something. And Definitely. so... 
uh, we could all do a better job, especially myself, of getting asking for help for that support when times get tough. And, you know, even when and things getting are, a coach, yeah, of and even when things are good too, it's always good to have those special people in your life who sure. support you, nourish you, and make life beautiful. Because we're we're here on a limited time on Earth, so let's all enjoy it and give back to society and share the love. Mm-hmm. Wendy, I really appreciate you coming back, and we'll have future episodes together. Thank and, you so uh, much. There's, yeah, time flies when we're together. So uh, let's. Uh, Thank you so much. Thank you, VNT, for your continued support, and uh, we look forward to hearing from you soon. Thank you.